Hi, my name is Caleb Krolak. This year in school, I'm learning about the missions of California. I chose to do my report on Mission San Luis Rey de Francia. I enjoyed going there, and I'd like to teach you some things I have learned. I have recreated the mission in Minecraft. Come take a look inside. I had a chance to go to the mission and take these pictures. I use these pictures along with the floor plan diagram to build the model that you see here. Mission San Luis Rey is the 18th of 21 missions. It was established on June 13, 1798 by Father Fermin Lusueno. He is a Franciscan missionary and successor to Junipero Serra as president of the missions. They traveled from Spain and started building missions in California as a way to secure land and provide a place of worship. They chose the mission location for the rich soil and fresh water. It used to have over 950,000 acres of land, but now it only has 56. They brought with them seeds to plant. They planted a pepper tree here on the grounds of Mission San Luis Rey and it is known to be the oldest pepper tree in California. The Luceno are the Native Americans who resided in the area and built the mission. Masons and artisans came from the other missions to teach the Lucenos how to make adobe brick. These bricks were made from a mixture of mud, straw, and water. By 1802, the mission church was completed. The chapel was built rather large because they wanted to make sure that there would be enough room at mass for everyone who wanted to come. The walls have a lot of decorations to make it look nice. The chapel was built like a cross with two side altars. The chapel's altar is partly original and partly reconstructed. At the cross, there is a dome ceiling made of glass to let the light in. The sacristy of the chapel is where the priests practice their speech and where they store things that are used in their worship service. The bell tower is just east of the chapel doors. These stairs lead up to the bell tower. The bells ring when it is time to eat, work, play or pray. It was also a lookout tower. The mission buildings were built around a 500 foot square patio that has a fountain in the center. There are more than 200 arches along the walkways that lead to all the rooms. These rooms included bedrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, an infirmary, a blacksmith's workshop, carpenters and joiners, looms and weavers, a schoolroom, and many more. Mission San Luis Rey is just one of the few missions where priests and brothers still live. They live here, eat here, and worship here. As you can see here, there are lots of rooms here at the mission. There were always people cooking, gathering crops, fixing walls, making clothes, milking cows, studying, picking fruit, weaving baskets, cleaning, teaching children, and taking care of the sick. There is never a dull moment. There is always work to be done. They did get a little free time after dinner. They like to dance, play, and talk to each other.
There were also different crafting rooms. This is a leather's workshop where they used leather from the cattle to make clothes. people can go when they are sick. There is even a chapel for the sick where they can go to worship and pray. When the Lusanios needed new tools, they had to go to the blacksmith's workshop and make it themselves. Unlike today, where we can simply drive down to Home Depot to get what we need. The schoolroom is where the Lucenio children go to the school to learn. The kids learn how to work hard from a very young age. The girls learned how to provide food for the family by collecting seeds, acorns, and berries to eat. They helped to prepare and cook the meals. The boys also learned how to hunt. They used bows and arrows to hunt small animals. They also fished for food. The kitchen is one of the busiest places because they have to make food three times a day, every day, for hundreds of people. Meals are very important. They all take time to come together to pray and eat. The cemetery is located just east of the chapel. Inside the cemetery, there is a large white memorial for the Losenio Indians who helped build the mission. In the cemetery, there is a crypt where the priest's memorials are. This is a statue of founding father, Father Fernan Laswen. It is the oldest burial ground still used today. The recent expansion of the area will make it available for people of all faiths. Today, Mission San Luis Rey is a working mission. Catholic Mass is held every Saturday in the chapel. The mission has been fully restored and is very large and beautiful. It is often called the King of Missions. Thank you for joining me in my recreation of Mission San Luis Rey de Frentia. I hope you enjoyed it.